problems based on applications of sets those are of word problems of part 1 under the advanced level and now we are going to perform few problems based upon the applications of the sets then now here the problem number 1 under the problem number 1 if n of b is equals to 49 and n of a intersection b as 17 and n of a union b is equals to 62 then we have to find out n of a so here the unknown value is of n of a we have to find out n of a by utilizing the n of b n of a intersection b and as well as n of a union b solution starts now so in our solution say according to problem n of a is given by means of n of b is given by means of 49 and n of a intersection b is equals to 17 then n of a union b is equals to 62 whereas here we have to find out the value of n of a but we know that n of a plus n of b is given by means of n of a union b plus n of a intersection b so here based upon this formula we can find out the unknown quantity by substituting the known values in this formula then now the next logical step is of so that implies n of a is unknown plus n of b as per the problem it is of so here n of b is of 49 is equals to n of a union b and n of a intersection b so here n of a union b and n of a intersection b are of a union b is of 62 a intersection b is of 17 so here n of a union b is of 62 plus n of a intersection b is of 17 then now the next logical step is of so here on the left hand side 49 is of positive whereas in the next logical step we are going to transpose it over to the right hand side then now z implies so n of a is equals to right hand side quantities are of 62 plus 17 then now plus 49 when it is transposed over to the right hand side it becomes minus 49 then now the next logical step will be of that implies n of a is equals to 17 is of positive and 62 is also of positive first of all let us add up these two quantities that is 62 and as well as 17 so 7 plus 2 is of 9 6 plus 1 is of 7 so here its value is of 79 to assess the sign here 62 is greater than 17 62 sign is of positive therefore 79 assess the sign of positive minus 49 must be copied as it is then now the next logical step will be of that implies n of a is equals to 
to simplify further plus of minus is minus let us subtract greater minus least that is from 79 we have to subtract 49 then now 9 minus 9 is of 0 then now since we are subtracting 7 minus 3 is 4 is of 3 so in this manner i got the value as 30 to assess the sign here 79 is greater than 49 79 is of positive therefore 30 assess the sign of positive so in this manner i got so therefore n of a is of 30 then now let us go for the second problem say here under the problem number 2 if n of a is given by means of 15 n of b is given by means of 10 then n of c by means of 12 then n of a intersection b is equals to 3 n of b intersection c by means of 5 then now n of c intersection a by means of 8 then now so here n of a intersection b intersection c value is of 2 then we have to find out n of a union b union c solution starts now so in our solution so as per the problem or according to problem the values which are given to us are of so here n of a is given by means of 15 then now n of b by means of 10 n of c is given by means of 12 then n of a intersection b by 3 n of b intersection c by means of 5 then now n of c intersection a by means of 8 then now n of a intersection b intersection c is also given by means of 2 and we have to find out n of a union b union c which is unknown but here we know that so here when there are of three sets a b and c the formula is of n of a union b union c is equals to n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of c intersection a then now plus n of a intersection b intersection c is the formula based upon this formula so here we can find out the unknown by replacing the known in this formula then now the next logical step will be of so that implies n of a union b union c which is unknown is written as it is because we have to find out its value then now n of a is given by means of 15 then now plus n of b value is of 10 then now plus n of c value is of 12 minus n of a intersection b is of 3 minus n of b intersection c is of 5 minus n of c intersection a is of 8 then now plus n of a intersection b intersection c is of 2 the next logical step will be of that implies so here let us add up all the positives so 15 is of positive 10 is of positive 12 is of positive and 2 is also of positive 15 plus 10 is of 25 25 plus 12 is of 37 37 plus 2 is of 39 so here we can write it as 39 because all are of positive we can assess the sign as positive then now let us add up all the negatives 3 5 and 8 are of negative signs when we add up all these so 5 plus 3 is of 8 8 plus 8 is of 16 so here all the negatives are added up its value is of 16 to assess the sign here since all are of negative we can assess the sign as negative or in other words so among these negatives 8 is greater its sign is of negative therefore 16 assess the sign of negative then the next logical step will be of that implies to simplify further plus of minus is minus we have to subtract that is greater than least that is 39 minus 16 so here 39 minus 16 so 9 minus 6 is of 3 3 minus 1 is of 2 therefore we got the value as 23 so 
So to assess the sign here, 39 is greater than 16. 13 sign is of 39 sign is of positive. Therefore, it assesses the sign of positive. So in this manner, I got the unknown value that is n of a union b union c. So here, therefore, n of a union b union c is equals to value is of 23.